Okay, so this is my FPV drone. It is just like a normal drone if you've ever seen one. They have four motors, four propellers. Normally, most drones you'll actually see have two propellers. This is because that uh, gets them extra stable and balanced. This has three propellers on every blade. For extra thrust and cornering. This has a battery, which is right here. Usually these are inside like a casing in the case of a lot of DJI drones. Uh, they'll have it inside of a, the actual pre-built drone case. But this one, it sits on the bottom. Some of them, you'll, most of them, you'll actually have it on the top here, along with possibly a GoPro. And then, uh, yeah, but it's quite a big battery. It's 1550 milliamp hours, which is a technical term, but it, it basically just means it's a big battery. And these are built especially to deliver power extremely fast to all four of these motors so that it can go, you know, up and sideways and loops. And in the drone, you have the ESC on the very bottom, which is hard to see, but all the motor wires are soldered to that. That basically takes the power from the flight controller and the battery, which is plugged in back here, and it tells the motors exactly how many RPMs to spin at, and it gives them that required power so that you can go up and turn and do all of that stuff. And you'll have this exact setup in a normal quadcopter too, uh, minus a couple details. The second board right there with the uh, green and white blinking lights that my camera will not focus on is the flight control. It effectively is the brains of this entire drone. It has all the uh, accelerometers, barometers, uh, sometimes it'll have a built-in GPS. It has uh, sensors to tell exactly where the drone is in space at any given time and how fast all of the motors are spinning. It's effectively a computer for your drone. It does all it does everything that you need to get this drone to fly, and then the ESC just kind of regulates that and makes sure the motors don't overload. On the top with the two blue lights is my VTX. What that stands for is Video Transmitter. So basically what it is, is it takes a video feed from your camera, which is right here, an analog video feed, and it converts it into radio waves that are then transmitted out this antenna on the back here. Then you have a special set of goggles with a screen in them over here that can pick up that video feed. I have my old glasses in here because I can't focus on them because, you know, I wear glasses. Thanks, eyes. Uh, but anyways, you can kind of see there's a very bad video feed in there. It is, It looks exactly like an analog television. Hello. Uh, so basically, it's effectively an old analog TV set on a quadcopter. The reason why they do this is because there is virtually zero delay. There's maybe 10 milliseconds of delay between when this video, when the light enters the camera to when it displays on the goggles over there. So that's why they use this. There has actually, in recent years, been a new digital system, but it is very, very expensive. And effectively, it does the same thing, but it takes a digital video feed and transmits that into specialized goggles. It's extremely expensive, but it does look very, very good. It looks almost like a GoPro quality because you have that digital camera compared to the analog video feed we have currently. There's a lot less breakup. The downside is it's way more expensive and there is a lot more lag. So it's not great for racing because if racers are used to the extremely low latency of a analog system, it goes up by almost double. It goes to like 20 to 25 milliseconds. It's not a lot. The fastest nerve from your brain to your arm takes five milliseconds to get there. So anything under five milliseconds is pretty much doesn't matter. Uh, but it can be a big difference for pros that are completely attuned to the uh, normal video transmitter. And on top, this big black box that I've literally electrical taped is the receiver. So this takes signals from my transmitter over here, which I use to control the drone with the uh, four sticks that I can't turn because I'm holding the drone. So this will control the drone by sending a, another radio signal out of the antenna in the front of it right here. And then the drone will pick it up using these antennas that I've actually taped to the arm, so you really can't see them, but that's it there, the little black thing. 
Uh, so yeah, that comes out from the receiver and basically it does the exact same thing as the VTX, but with transmitter signals. And so then the flight controller knows exactly what to do because it gets signals from that. So yeah, that is how an FPV drone works. And now let's see some clips of me flying it. Thank you. 